Hi, the mission for this presentation is to introduce you to the powerful XSLT technology. You will learn what XSLT is, why we need it, and the basics of XSL syntax. XSLT stands for Extensible Style Sheet Language Transformations. XSLT allows our applications to translate or transform one format of XML into another. For example, if we are working on, let's say we are working on an order processing system, we are integrating two different order processing systems using XML. That is, there are two order, two different order processing applications which use XML to communicate with each other. Now, if one of these systems uses an XML element called order ID to uniquely identify an order, and the other order management system uses an unique element called order number to uniquely identify an order. Now, when these two systems exchange XML messages, there needs to be a translation layer which can convert order ID to order number when it goes from one system to the other and order number to order ID when a message comes back from the other, other side of the order processing, other order processing system. That is exactly where XSLT comes in and it allows us to transform one XML format to a other XML format. XSLT can also transform XML to HTML which can then be displayed on a web browser. I have once worked on a portal project which used to store XML in, the, in its content management database and at a later point this portal application used to retrieve the XML apply a XSL style sheet which, which will generate HTML and then this HTML is pushed to the client's browser which can be displayed beautifully. XSLT uses XSL and XPath. XSL stands for Extensible Style Sheet Language. XSL provides us, XSL provides us with an XML based template matching syntax that will tell the XSLT processor that within the XML document when you encounter a certain element or a node or an attribute take the following action. XPath syntax on the other hand allows us to navigate through the XML document and to locate a particular XML element attribute or text node very easily. For example, if we have an XML document with a single element called task with some data in it, to display this task element, the contents of this task element within bold tags using XSL, all we need to do is use the XSL template match syntax and uh, we'll use the XSL value of syntax to display the contents of the task element. XPath goes into the XSL template elements match attribute. So this expression here which says slash forward slash task is the XPath expression that will locate the task element within the XML document. When I do the hands-on presentation next we will see XSLT and XPath in action. For now, all you need to understand is that the XSLT processor loads the entire XML document as a node tree and then it applies the XSL style sheet to transform this node structure into an other XML structure or a HTML structure. To quickly recap, you now know that XSLT stands for Extensible Style Sheet Language Transformations. It uses XSL and XPath to convert one format of XML into another format or to convert or transform XML to HTML which can then be displayed on a web browser. When I do the hands-on presentation, you will see XSL and, XSLT, XSL and XPath in action. We will create a XML document that will convert our XML to HTML. Starting this video, I have also enabled comments on all my videos. Do use them responsibly and uh, expect delays in my response. Uh, give me some time to respond. And as always, you can uh, shoot me an email to baratsblog at gmail.com for a quick response. Until the next presentation, keep learning and sharing. Thanks for watching.